um, like George Soros would, would be a good example. And um, then I wrote, um, I, well, I, I can write one book, why not another? And then I wrote Halo of the Damned and uh, Halo of the Nephilim. And uh, again, that was uh, a lot of, about angel lore in the book of Enoch, uh, fallen angels mating with humans, which is in the Bible. And again, these are Bible stories, but alien believers, uh, um, a Nephilim is an extraterrestrial, uh-huh. which could be also be called an angel, mating with a, a human, or, or as we might call it, a hominid, because they had all kinds of Man was in all kinds of forms back then. We we seem to think that Neanderthal was the only other kind of man, but no, there was like, I don't know, 10, 20 different kinds of hominids, like these man-like creatures, and that's how we got to be us, um, homo sapiens. So, um, again, it talks about angel lore and um, fallen angels and... Um, that one got pretty popular, and then now, are um, they are they able to still find that book in the bookstores or anything or Amazon? It, actually, I have three free books on Amazon right now um, till Sunday night, eleven fifty nine p.m. So, um, please, listeners, please download them on your Kindle. They're free. Um. You know, enjoy them. If they're not for you, oh, well, you didn't lose any money. Um, but um, they're, uh, they've are they been reviewed several times, gotten fantastic reviews from book reviewers. Uh, they're uh, generally a, a big hit with everyone who's read them. Um, but my, mo- my two most recent books are the bestseller and the sequel. And, again, I'm diving into the whole uh, Nazi angle for the technology that we have. And uh, in those two books, I've got like uh, two streams going and, and one's about a general who finds um, a Nazi or I'm sorry, a Jewish prison uh, during world war two. And he and his platoon or squad or whatever, free these Jewish prisoners, but then he also finds uh, a Nazi uh, scientist hiding in this prison. And um, the lab is clearly, um, he, the guy's clearly a geneticist. He's splicing different species uh-huh. and there's um, different, you know, jars of things all around and it's real creepy, but he realizes this guy's a genius and uh the guy begs him for his life and he takes him back to America to start his own, his own underground operation, which is, um, called operation Chrome for Chrome. Uh, I, I call it that because of chromosome uh-huh. chromosomes, but, um, it's also kind of works double because I think that Google Chrome <laughs> is, um, <laughs> trying to rule the world but uh that that's another they're doing a good job of it they're doing a good job of it i just i just want to say this because you mentioned that um the person i talked to uh it uh, worked with the government uh, like i was mentioning said that uh actually uh they are tied in with the government yeah yeah so i bet they're doing their dirty work yeah oh i hey i want to interrupt you my um Producer wants to say something, so I'm going to put him on here. His name's Kevin. Hi, uh, Kevin. Hey, how's it going? I just good. Want, how are you? Uh, pretty good. I just wanted to say to all the listeners listening right now, if you check out www.nightdreamstalkradio.com, you can find all of, all of her books on our website. And thank you. Okay, well, thank you, Kevin. And that was nice oh, of you cool. to do that. Thanks, Kevin. Hey. Okay. So that, uh, oh, yeah. And, and that book's still available. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that would oh, be a yeah. good, that would be a good read. 
Yeah, it's um, it it jumps into a uh, modern day, and you've got this this woman who, for some reason, she hears voices in her head, and she um, decides to become an, a, a novel. Hence the title, the bestseller. Except it's much more than a novel; it's a code, and she doesn't know why she's writing it, and it it goes from there. And um, you you find out soon. I mean, you find out sooner or later that she she was an orphan, and um, she's a, a product of this this general's um, operation, Operation Chrome. She's a, a hybrid uh, being. Um, spliced in a laboratory uh, between uh, wi- uh, human women and um, aliens that they took from Roswell. So uh, there's a lot of Roswell conspiracy theory woven in the plot as well. Um, on a side note, uh, right after I wrote the first one, my husband and I went on vacation to uh, New Mexico and we, of course, stopped at the Roswell Festival. Um, I guess they have one every year. And we went to the Roswell Museum. And um, in the Roswell Museum, you were talking about that one. Um, you, you said it was like a picture of a, of a, a, a person with a, uh, like a astronaut. Right, um, right. Alphadon. Yeah. Well, in that museum... They have like uh, the lid of a box, and it's um, a wooden, and it's carved, and it's of uh, a, 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 like a like it looks like a Aztec type of man, and he's curled up, and it looks like he's in a time machine. Yeah, it's um, a real famous. I can't remember what the name of uh, it is. But when you mentioned the, I know exactly what you're talking about with the um, astronaut outfit. This was another real famous one. It was pretty cool. It was in the museum, and um, I got a book from Stanton Friedman, and I got an autograph. That was really cool. And um, you know, it uh, it was uh, fun to you know go to the place that you write about. It was oh, yeah, uh, it would be. a wonderful experience. Yeah, I've always wanted to go. I, I came close to it because I ride a motorcycle. And like every summer I go like to Nevada and Reno and Las Vegas and the deserts and all that stuff from the Seattle Tacoma area. So it's a long little ride. I keep saying, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do this. But somehow I never get there and I don't understand why I don't. I'm going to force myself maybe this summer too. Oh, New Mexico is beautiful. Oh, yeah. It, pretty state. Well, you know, are you guys in California? No, we're in Washington State. I'm in the, just out of sight of Tacoma, Washington, in a little town called Gig Harbor, Washington. A little bay, you know, and little boats and stuff like that. Nice little area. Except, you know, when I moved oh. here about almost 20 years ago, I mean, it was really secluded. That's why I, I moved where I did. And now it's, you know, it's really hard unless you go out someplace like in Nebraska to find a place where, you know, it's not getting overpopulated. Yeah. Yeah, it's so. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. But uh, Roswell has always really intrigued me, you know. And, you know, then there's been, you know, people who said they had worked in Area 51, you know, where they were going back and trying to reconstruct, you know, how some of this alien spacecraft work where they could, re, you know, remanufacture it and stuff like that. And then it seems like when they said stuff, either their credibility was totally destroyed uh, or uh, in cases uh, where some of the people come out and said, this is what's going on. Like I mentioned earlier, they would be driving their car and all of a sudden, boom, they were in a major accident and they were killed. So I don't know. It just, I don't know. I, yeah. I you know, conspiracy is, you can sit there and I just know that there is a lot more going on than what we know and i do believe you know that we're being visited you know i if i sat there with a a closed mind and said no there's no other life in this whole entire universe which never ends we're the only ones i you know i i just i can't buy that and i won't buy that Uh, right i i agree uh i do and 
Uh, I do believe there's just too many legitimate, uh, there's a lot, uh, hey, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of fraud out there. There's a lot of people who claim they see spaceships, claim that they were visited, claim they were uh, abducted, and they're obviously just looking for attention. But there's too many legit people that have also had the same experiences. So at what point do you finally have to accept it? I mean, how many stories do you have to hear before you finally have to say, well, these people seem like they're legit? Yeah, and then you so. go go back even to, like, in Germany, what they were doing in the prison camps, right? They were going through and trying to alter the DNA uh, and create a superhuman and all this stuff. It makes you wonder. I mean, I don't think uh, the experimentation just because the war ended would have stopped. I, and it just makes me wonder, you know, what is actually going on? I, I just I just think things are so much more in depth than me and you could even begin to comprehend. And that's what's scary. Yeah, we're living in dangerous times, that's for sure. Uh, we're, um, don't be surprised if your show gets cut off one of these days. <laughs> oh, you mean, you mean, uh, you know, like I remember like Art Bell show and some of the other shows, you know, that they would be touching on a subject and all of a sudden, you know, all the phone lines would go dead. Uh, you know, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 it's, maybe it's just my imagination, but since I had a person and was with the DOD, uh, it seems like I've had nothing but computer problems for the past week. Uh, not just on, <laughs> I run seven separate computers to do this show and like all of them have been just doing weird things, which haven't done it in months since I started the show. Never had a problem after I had him on. I started having all these weird <laughs> problems, you know, and it's it's kind of strange, but that's maybe it's my imagination I, running away no, with that's me. That's a message. That's a message. <laughs> yeah, like lay off and don't talk about the stuff. I mean, it all started when we were talking about, you know, the microchips, uh, you know, and your credit cards. Your, you know, the, the the person was telling me that he actually, him and his wife were in the bedroom talking about they wanted to go look at a specific item the next day. And all of a sudden, the next day, they, 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 he pulls out a cell phone, right? And they're going off to Walmart. And all of a sudden, on his cell phone, here's the item coming up. Not once or <sighs> twice, but three or four times. Uh, this particular bicycle, this weird model bicycle, was on his phone and saying where it's on sale at and all that stuff. And he thought it was rather oh. strange because him and his wife were sitting there talking about it the night before. And it was an oddball brand bike that me and you wouldn't even consider or even think of. So, you know, he was telling it me. It wasn't ra- Well, he it felt. It wasn't he, random. They were listening. Yeah, that's what he, he, he claims that uh, they listen and they can listen in. So, I mean, you better watch your cell phone provider. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, so the, the cell phone, these uh, Alexa Echo things, these, uh, uh, the, the tab, I mean, I use a tablet. Um, I'm addicted to uh, the e-read. I love it at nighttime. It's got that backlight. Well, um, I mean, this is really creepy from an author standpoint. I I don't want to creep anybody out because I want you to download my book. But um, my publisher can tell me how many pages were read of my books. (laughs) I don't want to creep anybody out. Oh, wow. (laughs) Yeah. Um, of course they know how many were sold, but uh-huh. they know also how many pages were read. That's, I find I, that, that's scary. If, if, you know, if, yeah, if, if Amazon that guy gives became, you bonuses, uh, I, I, they, um, uh, I, they had a thing on the news you're talking about phones. Um, it's not just, um, they can see you. It's that Google maps. Uh, if you have your phone on or you have your phone off, it knows exactly where you are. Yeah. So these these cell phones, uh, we don't even need a microchip. We, we're so addicted to our cell phones that we bring them everywhere with us. Oh, now they can pinpoint you right down with a couple hundred feet where you're at. So that that that's scary right there. Yeah. Uh, and... Um, 
Another thing that scares the heck out of me is the 